Welcome to Mr. Marsh's video on testing for ions. When it's for ions and salts, you must remember they're always split into a positive metal part and a negative non-metal part. That's right. What JB's going to do here is he's going to give them a flame test. He's going to give them a little tickle with a flame, he's going to excite the ions, and they're going to give out coloured light. Now, each colour is unique. Bish, bash, bosh. That colour relates to calcium. Calcium is a brick red. Yes, it is. A much, much deeper red, but very, very bright still. That colour is lithium. That is a brilliant colour green. Now, the green relates to copper. A lighter amber, but very, very golden colour, relates to sodium. Now that is one of my favourite colours, which is a scarlet red, which relates to strontium. Another way of testing for metal ions is to do a precipitate test. Many, in fact most metal hydroxides, have insoluble precipitates. So adding sodium hydroxide to them causes a solid coloured precipitate to form. Now copper forms a deep blue, snotty precipitate. Iron, you can get as a 2 ion, a plus 2 ion, or a plus 3 ion. This is iron 2 and iron 3. Iron 2 gives a green, whereas the iron 3 gives a pooey brown. Magnesium and aluminium give their own challenges. Magnesium and aluminium precipitates look pretty much the same, but if you add excess sodium hydroxide to them, you can re-dissolve the aluminium but you can't re-dissolve the magnesium. So that's a way you can tell the two ions apart. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful.